This is Sculpt Search, an interactive cartographic interface that looks at public arts in Madison, Wisconsin, specifically sculptures. For our user case scenario, we'll be looking at Susan, an art teacher at East High School. Susan wants her students to explore local public sculptures and write a brief report on them. She likes Sculpt Search because of its ability to filter sculptures by several criteria. First, she wants students to stay in the vicinity of East High School. And by using Sculpt Search's filter function, she can select the relevant neighborhood from the drop down menu. She selects Schenck Atwood, as this neighborhood is nearest to East High School. Once selected, she can pan and zoom into the cluster of sculptures. One student is a particular fan of the local sculptor, Sid Boyum. After resetting the filter, the student can uh, use the artist filtering menu and select Sid. Now sculptures by other artists are filtered out and only those by Sid Boyum are visible. The student decides that they want to write their report on Sid Boyum's smiling mushroom. The pop-up includes an image of the sculpture, the name, the year, the artist, the material it's made out of, the neighborhood, the source, and a blurb about the sculpture. There's also a link that can be clicked to provide more information about the sculpture. If the student loses track of the sculpture's location, they can use the search function to retrieve it. Another student is particularly interested in sculptures built before the 1960s. They can use the sequencer to set the date of visible sculptures. By dragging the slider to the year 1962, now only sculptures erected before the year 1962 are visible. Unfortunately, there are none in Schenck Atwood, but if the user pans away, they will see that there are more located towards downtown. If Susan decides to expand, her, to expand her limits to other neighborhoods, no problem. By using the reset button, she can refresh her previous selections and select a new neighborhood. Other operators in the interface include the ability to filter by material, toggle between satellite and watercolor modes, and toggle on and off labels and neighborhood boundaries. There is also a feedback button that provides users with the ability to submit new or missing sculptures for review. Susan is enamored with Sculpt Search's wide utility and simple usability. She plans to incorporate this tool into her teaching for years to come.